Well, there we go. We got just the bare head here, no intake or exhaust cam. We can see our valve springs and we're about ready to take off the cylinder head. So I have to take the cylinder head bolts off and I have to take uh, just this holder off right here and then it's gonna be ready to come off. So if you were testing this engine, typically with an overheat, what we're supposed to do is replace the head bolts and retorque them to see if the threads pull out, the, you know, the block material will actually pull out with the threads. Now, that doesn't really make sense. I already know this engine is compromised. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them apart, take all these head bolts out, we're gonna take the head off, and then we do have some more tests we have to do to make sure that the block is good. If the block is not good, that's a bad thing because then it's an engine replacement and I need to find, I had to find the right socket. I need a quarter inch E8 to get in here because there's a little cutout right there and anything larger than that, you can't get to this bolt. So that would be a problem if you don't have that. You do need a quarter inch E-Torx E8. I almost thought I didn't have one at home, which would have stopped me in my tracks here. So let's loosen up this chain guide. Everything's always slippery when you're working like this because everything's full of oil. So you just have to be careful. All right, and you can see we have the long bolt for the top and this little short bolt for the bottom. All right, so now I have some smaller head bolts. I have one here and one here on the two corners. I'm gonna need a bit of a longer extension in the engine. And I got a head bolt down here, which is also an E8. And I got one here. And get a magnet. And pull these out with a magnet. And we can take note again. The longer one goes up top, the shorter one goes down the bottom. All right, now for the head bolts, which are E12s. I'm kind of curious to see if they feel tight or loose. And that one feels tight. Usually the heat is towards the back. It still feels tight, but that doesn't mean anything. All right, let's start loosening these up. These are one-time use, you can't reuse them. All right, if I can zip these out. All right, here we go, got an adapter on here. All right, so let's pull these head bolts out. Now these washers, you have to keep. Head bolts are one-time use, so head bolts are basically garbage, but these washers you don't get, and don't drop it in the engine either. So, probably get a magnet. I feel like I'm gonna lose that one. All right, head bolts are garbage. These washers you keep. Don't drop them in your engine, because and you're going fishing, doesn't sound like much fun. Not that kind of fishing. Or you're dropping your oil pan. And you don't want to drop these when you're taking the head off. You know, once you're away from the front, you're good to go. You can get a little braver. They can't fit through the holes the bleed back holes here. You don't 
not lose them. All right, not sure if I can do this. I used to be able to pull the cylinder head off by myself. I don't want to damage anything because you can damage your chain guide. And I will have to feed that off, but basically the head's ready to come off. There she is, she just broke free. All right, and I have the cat still attached, so hopefully I can sneak everything through and out. Or I'll have to take the exhaust off. I didn't want to have to do. All right, here we go. So after a little bit of struggling, I had to take the Bank One uh, exhaust manifold cat off because it was all getting hung up. So now that I have all that free, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cylinder head. Make sure I'm not hitting anything. Here we go. That's a wire caught. There she is. All right, I got the head off finally. Here's my head gasket. Some signs of coolant there. Whoa, that was my dowel pin that went flying. I never had a dowel pin fly off on me like that, but there it is right here. Yeah. I got worried that I lost it somewhere. All right, there's another dowel pin here. So I might try to get that out. So I'm gonna lose these dowels. Well, the head's off. That's what I wanted to accomplish this weekend. Here's the head gasket. And one thing to check, and I know I have to time cert all of these threads with uh, time certs. You have want to actually check to see if these sleeves, so each one of these cylinders has a sleeve. These are sleeved. So you want to run your fingernail over the edge and see if you can catch your edge on any of these sleeves. If these sleeves are raised, then the engine's no good. So I just did a quick check and it feels good. So that's a good sign. I still have to clean this up and make sure that I don't have excessive warpage. One of the most important things that you need to check is you need to make sure that the cross deviation and longitudinal deviation are within spec to make sure that the block is viable to use or you have to replace the block. On an M54, the cross deviation is only 0 0.05 millimeters. It's very, very thin. And then the longitudinal or straight 0.10. So we're gonna do that test. To do that test, you need a straight edge. And you always wanna store your straight edge up and down like this. So I'm gonna take that cover off. That's the little protector. So cross deviation is across this way. So at an angle, you take your 0 0.05, and I just picked this up at Harbor Freight because I have my other ones at work. And you try to slide that underneath at all these points. This is the, the spec, so realistically, you don't want to be able to slide this underneath. Just got to make sure that you are straight up and down. There's a little bit of tension there, so it's right at the spec. And then we need to switch to the point one. And then you check your longitudinal, which is straight. You just take your feeler gauge. And we're just going to check all these points to make sure that you can't slide. Okay. 
Yep, so that's good. Block is viable. All right, everybody. The head is ready to go. The block is checked. Next step is putting the head gasket on and getting the head on. Super excited to get this thing running this year. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.